in a previous video I showed how to connect the Steinmeier's voltage intensifier circuit according to WFC memo 420. What happened was I went ahead and I bypassed this triggering mechanism. I'm going to show you a disadvantage for doing it. What happens is we have a unipolar voltage waveform coming in without the triggering mechanism. We don't have control of the off time. So basically we can't control the duty cycle. Why is that important? That's important because according to Stan Myers, you want a 50% duty cycle to allow the inductor to discharge to the capacitor. During unipolar voltage waveform action, the inductor is gaining energy and amplitude in the form of magnetic field. That energy wants to collapse. By giving it a 50% duty cycle, or that opening in the gate right here, it gives it time to discharge back into the circuit or back into the capacitor. By not having that, what's happening is now we're forcing the discharge rate right from peak to peak, so obviously I'm not getting um, the efficiency this was designed with originally. Now what happened was I did not have means to get this PC9XB card so I figured well how can we get an alternative or a simple replacement something that switches this on and off a 50% duty cycle variable duty cycle and relatively high frequency so I was searching online and I found out that uh, we can use a 555 timer chip I'm going to show you a real basic simple way to do this and what we have here is a 555 timer circuit board hooked up in such a way as you can see we have a high and a low and we can control its frequency like so or the duty cycle there's a duty cycle now there's a disadvantage and that is that this is a power limited circuit meaning doesn't have the power to drive this main circuit so that's why it's called the triggering circuit now nowadays we don't have to use this fancy optocouplers with a silicon control rectifier we can actually use something called a MOSFET now MOSFET is a uh, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor it's a very fancy name for a very fast switch and what does the switch do well it allows you to trigger it with a power limited circuit and it controls a heavier load so in a uh, future video I will post the triggering circuit uh, pulsed with modulated together with the VIC board that we had previous and we'll do some testing and we'll examine 